Have you ever opened a food delivery app and felt completely overwhelmed by the sheer number of choices? Scrolling through endless restaurants, not knowing which one to pick. So you end up just ordering from the same place you always do, or worse, giving up entirely. If that sounds familiar, you're not alone. In psychology and behavioral economics, this phenomenon is known as choice overload. It's a well-documented cognitive bias that's been proven in lab experiments and real-world data. When we have too many options, it takes more time and effort to make a decision. Sometimes, we walk away without deciding, and abandon the purchase altogether. Today, I'm diving into a fascinating new research paper that reveals how this choice overload plays out in the food delivery apps we use every day. But here's the twist, the researcher discovered something surprising. More choices affect new customers and existing customers in completely opposite ways. Let's break down this intriguing research together. The study analyzed years of consumer behavior data from a major US food delivery platform. The researcher tracked key metrics like the number of available restaurants, new user acquisition rates, and how often existing customers placed orders. The study wanted to understand how does the number of choices actually impact user behavior? What makes this study so powerful is that it didn't just look at what happens when there are a lot of options. It specifically distinguished between first-time users and long-term, existing customers. This approach shined a light on a more complex consumer psychology and the real challenges faced by platform operators that were previously overlooked. And the findings? The study uncovered two crucial truths. First, the good news. When more restaurants joined the platform, it attracted significantly more new customers. This makes perfect sense. A diverse selection of restaurants makes the platform more appealing to people who haven't tried it yet. More choice equals more attraction for newcomers. But here's where it gets interesting and problematic. For existing customers who were already using the service regularly, Adding more restaurant options had the opposite effect. More choices actually made them order less frequently. Why would this happen? The researcher identified psychological factors at play. First, information overload. When faced with too many options, customers often avoid browsing altogether. It's just too overwhelming to even start. Second, even when they do browse, the decision-making process takes much longer and becomes mentally exhausting. This fatigue creates a, forget it, mentality that carries over to future ordering decisions. People start thinking, this is too much work. Maybe I'll just cook at home instead. The complexity of choice leads to procrastination and avoidance, ultimately increasing the risk that loyal customers will stop using the platform entirely. These findings have massive implications for any company running an online platform. While adding options is great for attracting new customers, it might be slowly driving away the customers you already have. That's a dangerous trade-off. So what's the solution? The researcher tested personalized assortment, essentially using each customer's order history and preferences to curate a customized selection of restaurants and menu items. Simple concept, but the results were remarkable. Their simulations showed that implementing personalized curation could boost existing customers' weekly purchase frequency by up to 22%. Here's what we learned today. This research brilliantly illustrates the choice overload problem through something we all relate to, ordering food online. The key insights are twofold. To attract new customers, offer abundant choice. To retain existing customers, offer curated, personalized choice. Having lots of options feels like freedom, but it can actually become overwhelming and exhausting. This study offers valuable insights not just for platform designers, but for all of us to better understand our own consumer behavior and decision-making patterns. If you found this video interesting or helpful, please hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one.